up. Are you up to date on the latest lingo your kids are using? Find out the hidden meaning behind what they're texting their friends. Plus, more than 82 million PPL are TXing. Watch me try to translate text message slang. Next, I'm Martha. More than 82 million PPL are TXTing regularly. B I G D, you picked up the PH or had a FTF. But today we need our 411 ASAP, and since there are limits on the length of our MSGs, Z's, <laughs> be a shorthand. So I'm here to help us crack the new codes of communication is the founder and CEO of Netlingo.com, Erin Jansen. Welcome. Hi, Martha. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I don't think that um, the lingo really is to be spoken. You know, that's a good point. Yeah, you can't really <laughs> talk it. It's really with your thumbs. That's it. Because... Um, it is a shorthand. It that's is basically right. the modern shorthand for texting. That's right. And yeah. it's the internet that's changed the way we communicate. Yeah. And so it's the new language that we use. And you have this fantastic book, Netlingo The List, uh, which is really a dictionary um, to be created for all of the terms that we use on texting nowadays, even on the internet and emails. I really don't like getting so many abbreviations in everything that we read because People are going to forget actually how to spell, yeah, and know. then they're going to forget how to talk, and then they're going to forget how to think, yeah. and then what's going to happen? A lot of people feel that way. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I totally believe it. Yeah. I mean, we spent how many centuries learning how to talk right. and developing beautiful vocabularies and dictionaries uh, for real language, and now it's lingo? Yeah. But net lingo. Okay. So uh, um, explain what... In your way, what, what, is the, what is the definition of net lingo? Like you said, it's a dictionary, and it tracks all of the internet technology, like blogging, social networking, all of the business jargon nowadays associated with it, and the styles of online communication. And whoever, who comes up with it first? In the beginning, it was a lot of people who worked in the industry. Right. Uh, and rappers, technically rappers. savvy. I mm -hmm. think rappers started it all. It's becoming I more, more blame popular. all those rappers. <laughs> P. Diddy, whatever your name is now, P. Diddy. I don't think he made up LOL, though. Uh, that is by far the most popular one. It is, it is. Most of us know it to mean laughing out loud. Yes. But, oh, but it's again. got a couple different meanings, too, yeah. and that can cause some okay, misunderstanding. Let me, let me look at you. What is LOL? Which a lot of these terms L can. Uh-oh. Well, there was a woman who... Heard no. Oh, lots of love. Yeah. Let a woman heard her uh, friend's mother had passed away. Yeah. So she texted her and said, I'm so sorry to hear about your mother's passing. LOL. Let me know if there's <laughs> anything I can do. <laughs> Obviously, she meant lots of love, but we all think it means laughing out loud. Oh, yeah. darn. Oh, darn. So, and so there's more but than... But Lola means laughing out loud again, so she had written lots of love again. Yeah. There's so many laughing ones. I finally got fed up and listed them all under QL. Quit laughing. <laughs> oh, but I like the things about sex the best. Yeah, there's a lot of those. A oh lot my gosh. Of those. Yeah, yeah. Tell us the ones that you when your children are eating dinner with you and they're texting. Right, right. You got to be careful of that. Yeah. What's the one? That, what's that really good one? L, L M I R L. Let's meet in real life. And I W S N. I want sex now. Oh. And some of these I cannot read on public oh, television. No. There's a disclaimer in the book. Yeah, I, I can't. Read. This is one I can't read right here. There's a lot of humor online though too, <laughs> and you know, and it's adults using it as well as teens. Oh, of course. Oh, some adults who can't spell. I mean, I have a lot of friends who can't spell, so they just abbreviate. Exactly. Oh my god. Well, there's more than two thousand abbreviations and counting. And Joey. Yes. J S U. Uh, I have no idea. Just shut, shut up. up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. <laughs> See, you can get.
get in a lot of trouble with this. So what are the pros and cons? I can tell you right away well, what the pros and cons are. Yeah, the pros I mean, are. We're getting in trouble. Like, like in a second, we've gotten into trouble already. So what are the pros? Well, the pros are obviously it saves time. You yeah. can get your point across quickly. Right. And texting is fun. really, texting is only 160 characters, yes, right? that's right. Yeah, 160 characters. You can say a lot if you use the abbreviations. Right. And it's also fun. It's a form of self-expression. Right. And for kids, they like to feel like they're part of a club. You How about know? Scrabble and in net lingo. Uh huh. I love it. Yeah. Why don't, yeah. You, why don't you create? A I game? want to do it. Do an app. I definitely Special want to. App for, oh yeah. Yeah. Do an app for the iPhone. We do have an iPhone app for okay. the list. Yeah. And the list is also available in book and on the how website. Much is, how much is the app? Ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. So you can just utilize that if yeah. you want. Yep. Yeah. But the trouble is you can't look it up and text at the same time. Right. It's handy though because it's there <laughs> on your iPhone at least when you're texting. Yeah. But you so. should you should just fix it so that if you start. You can, the, they'll finish Great the idea. For you. Okay. Great idea. And the cons? Well, the cons are obviously parents are in the dark. I mean, did you <laughs> know there's more than 4 million children posting content to the internet every day? Yes. Okay. And, and they're texting more than 1,000 times a month. There you go. Each child with the texting a thousand times. A, they're not talking anymore. Right. They're not making telephone calls anymore. Right. They're texting all the time. All they're doing is this. And yeah. they're all getting nearsighted. Uh huh. They yeah. are. And, and uh, they're so they're going to be blind. They're going to be deaf because they're listening with earphones all the time. Uh huh. They're never going to talk. They're going to become really, yeah, really a problem. Yeah. There's also sexy. <laughs> There's what? Sexting. Oh, sexting. Oh, yes. Has oh, anybody yes. heard of sexting? Yes, my yeah. daughter talks about it on her show yeah. all the time. When you send a naked picture yes. of yourself to somebody else on your yeah. cell phone. That's a big, that's a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. As well as the threat of online predators, cyberbullying, cyber safety, you know, there's yeah. that. It can cause problems at work. Yeah. A woman opened up an email that had said NSFW in the subject line. She didn't know what that meant. Yeah. Opens it up, revealing photographs. Oh. Means not safe for work. So, had she known what that meant, she wouldn't have opened it. Right. And also some problems at school. Could you erase it? If you erase it in 30 seconds, it's gone. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Again, you don't want to be put in the position of being inappropriate at work. Right. So, of course not. you got to know what it means. Okay. So. Well, good luck with it, Liz. Thank you. And I love being informed. I think it's very important. I'm going to take this home, and I'm going to write you an email. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'll text you. I'll yeah, text me. I just checked my telephone for text right. messages, because I never do. And I have, like, so many that I have never answered. People must think I am really out of it. Like, so, OMG, Martha. OMG. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Everyone in the audience is going home with this book. <laughs> shares her tips on how to take proper care of one of your most essential household tools.